writer quoted and I repeat, suffering does not automatically make a person feel bitter, stronger or better. But the way you respond to suffering will determine whether your heart will make you feel bitter or better. Hello, my name is Fanny and I'm the founder of Single Dating Friends which is a platform I created globally to train ladies to become the best versions of themselves. Applying the word of God and godly principles to your relationships, careers, jobs, education, spiritual life, marriage, while waiting for a miracle. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to recover from a heartbreak. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Breakup is often accompanied with a variety of emotions such as resentment, anger, jealousy, hatred, bitterness, etc. If you try to suppress these feelings, you will likely prolong your grieving period. It is okay to cry. It's okay to feel like the wall has come crumbling down on you. It's okay to feel like that pain will last for a lifetime. It's okay to feel like you're about to die the next two minutes, two seconds. It's okay to feel like nothing in the world and around you makes sense anymore. But I bet you that pain is temporary depending on how you handle it, especially if you focus on the following points. Number two. Understand that breakup is inevitable in a relationship. It is the nature of dating that relationships may end up in a breakup. So, so that we eventually find our most suitable match. Well, there is no perfect match anywhere, but you need to look for that person which, with which you can cope with. You need to understand that finding a life partner is more than just love. You need to look for that person and finding somebody that takes just more than love will surely cost a lot of time and that is why you need to understand breakup is normal because you are looking for the most suitable match for you. You are looking for that person that you can spend the rest of your life with. You are looking for that person that is not perfect but you can cope with your flaws. You can cope with your anger. You can cope with whatsoever weakness the person has because I bet you nobody is perfect. Number three, forgive. The more you spend time with God, the easier it will be for you to forgive. And forgiveness actually is not just for your heartbreaker. It is more for you because you need your peace back. You need your sanity back. You need your joy back. You need your, the old you back. So it will definitely take some time. Don't jump into another relationship without experiencing and giving forgiveness. Because when you forgive your heartbreaker, when you forgive the person that is causing you so much pain, it will be easier for you to give out something to your new partner. It will be easier for you to give out something to the new relationship. It will be easier for you to give in your all in the next relationship. It's tough, but one of the secrets that works miracles is that you pray more for your heartbreaker. I know it's hard, but it works miracles. Number four. Experience healing in God's presence. Spend time worshiping. Spend time studying the word of God. Spend time meditating. Spend time reading and pondering upon the promises of God. The Lord said you are the apple of his eyes. He said he loves you and even if your mother will abandon you, he will never abandon you. Spend time engaging yourself with God. Experience healing in his presence. There is no other place better than the presence of God to experience healing. So you need to spend time worshiping, spend time praying and I bet you in less than no time, you'll be back to your feet. Number five, Get lost in God. Go out for evangelism. Go out for spiritual activities. Don't just sit at home and grieve over that pain. Don't just sit at home in idleness. I bet you it will come with all the mixed with all the mixed feelings that heartbreak comes with. It comes with mood swings. It comes with discomfort. It comes with lack with poor self-image. It comes with lack of self-worth. I bet you get lost in God to a point where you can't even remember anything relationship. Just get lost in God. Let the Holy Spirit spread His love abroad in your heart. And in no time, you'll be back to your feet again. Number six. 
to an objective appraisal. Spend time focusing on the things you have learned from the relationship. Spend time improving yourself. Let me ask you this question. The way you are now, can you marry you? I bet your answer is no. So do an objective appraisal. Upgrade your life. Upgrade yourself. Upgrade your skills. Learn new things. Don't just remain the same person that you are. Get to read books, intelligent books. Upgrade yourself spiritually. Upgrade yourself physically. Personal development, your ministry, your career, your vision. Upgrade yourself so that when Mr. Wright comes knocking, you have more than enough to give and I bet you, you won't have to face another heartbreak. Number seven, examine what you've learned from the relationship. Dear singles, there is a lot of lessons to learn from a heartbreak. You get to learn how, as a lady, you get to learn how you can appease a man. As a lady, you get to learn how to be more submissive. You need to learn, you get to learn how to be more wise. The Bible says a wise woman builds her home. You learn to be wise. You get you learn to know when to talk and and you don't just throw what carelessly like how 21st century ladies do it. So you get to learn a lot from that relationship. So spend time examining yourself. Spend time writing down those things that you've learned from the relationship so that you will not carry out your bad character to the next relationship. So that you don't carry out that bitterness, that anger, the, the bad energy into your next relationship relationship so you need to spend time examining the lessons what did you learn what did you know about yourself are you the kind of person that don't know how to be tolerant are you the kind of person that does not know how to forgive are you the kind of person that is so quick to take decisions are you the kind of person that nobody can talk to you don't listen to anyone learn as much as you can in that relationship number eight don't try to prove a point to your ex don't try to revenge Listen to me, my dear singles and my dear ladies. It will do you no good to vilify another person. Don't try to make them look bad. If you have healed, if you have forgiven, if you have been lost in God, if you have been practicing from point one to point seven, the Holy Spirit must have done so much work of transformation in your life, such that in the at the, at the point where you have to appraise yourself, it will never be to prove a point to your ex that you can also find a replacement. Many have made hasty decisions in the flesh, like bad marriage choices, bad career choices, bad business ventures, relocation, all because they wanted to prove to their exes that they too can marry. If you yield to God, you will come out with one attitude, which is gratitude. So don't try to vilify your ex. Each and every one of us has a good and a bad side. Don't spend time trying to get back on them because you are doing yourself harm and not the heartbreaker. Number nine, focus on the benefits of being single. You have more control over your daily activities. You have more control over your routines. You have more time with your, for yourself. You have more time to get to meet new people, get to know new people, get to learn new things. You can relocate to any geographical location of your choice because you don't need to debate over it with, with a partner. Focus on, on the benefits of being single. You can eat what you want. You can do what you want, you can call whatever you want, you can learn as much as you can. As a single person, you have all the advantages in the world to better your life, your relationship, your career and everything. Just focus on, on those positive aspects and advantages of being single. Number 10, start dating again. Don't jump into another relationship and don't wait forever. Keep the dating more casual at first might be wise. When you meet Mr. Right and see what, what the Lord has done for you and how much you have learned, how, what you have gone through, you will give yourself a praise break. You won't compare your present relationship with that of your ex because you have healed, you have grown, you are free, you have upgraded your life, you have more balance, more adjustment, and you have become the best versions of yourself. Hope this video blessed you. Oh, ladies, by the way, Single with a Different Seminar is coming up soon. So, ladies, anticipate. Until next time, bye.